to find things that make the Bach saga to be true. And we'll put that like that for now. Okay. We begin? Yeah. First, I'd just like to say my name is Jim Chesner. And this story that I will tell today is one story that uh, was first given to the people of the planet on the 24th of February, 1984. Just a few, maybe two kilo kilometers from where we sit today and here in Goa, India. Mr. Eeyore Bach, who I had the honor to be, spend much time in my life to listen to what he had to say. On this day, he gave one story that his family had passed down in one family from Finland, from a time we have no idea about today. The story is based in one linguistic scientific method. There's 29 sounds, and each sound has a mark for the sound and a meaning for the sound. And this whole saga is based around this, what we would call the root alphabet, which the root language came from. All languages on this planet, they all come from 29 sounds. And today I will explain these sounds and the meaning for the sounds. To understand what the sounds really mean, you have to listen to the story that will follow. Because in the story, I will go through these different sounds, these different, and explain what they really mean. I'm gonna start with one diagram of one ring. It's divided in four, and in the center is one hole. If you put one compass, you put this compass over to here, you draw a ring, you would create something we call one P. In English, we would say pi if you want to find the distance around the ring. But most countries, they say P. Their E is, our I is their E. So this is one P, one circle. This line here that comes out from this center point is called one Ra, one Ra D one radius, radius in English. And the center point here we would call one mead. Mead is middle in English. Mead in root language means middle, mead. And this ring land here had one name called Midgard. In the Scandinavian mythology they talk about this Midgard. If you went to the very top of the North Pole, which we say is on one island, about three kilometers in front of Finland, in front of uh, Helsinki, Finland. There are seven islands. Today there's only six. They put two together. And on this main island, there is one point in the middle of this island, in the top of one hill, there is one hole. Still today, it's covered up by one museum. And this hole in our story is the very true North Pole it is one hole in the top of the axle of the planet. The ice on top of the planet we call North Pole, but the true pole, if you look at one globe, the true pole, this very North Pole, comes to this island three kilometers in front of Helsinki, Finland. In the middle of this island there is one hole, one group in root language, and this hole is in the very top of the pole of the axle of the planet. So we're going to start with this hole. And from this hole you can go this way and draw one line around the planet. You can go from this way and make another line. And now you've divided the planet into four hemispheres. So the symbol of a ring with a cross in the middle is actually this North Pole point. In this alphabet, this ringland, Osgard, 
or I'll explain, it had many names. It has Udin Ma. If you still go to the Helsinki today, ask anyone where Udin Ma is, you're standing in Udin Ma. And Udin Ma has a center point on this island and it has a radius of 125 kilometers in both ways, a diameter of 250 kilometers. It's one ring land at the very north pole, 250 kilometers across. And this is all still exists today. This is where the four corners of the world meet, as they say. It's where the four hemispheres meet right here. In this ring land, in this story, I will explain one family of people, actually two families of people, one group of people called the Osir people. The sound ah, Osir, and Osir are who this family who gave me this story, which I'll explain in the saga how I got this information. The people who come out from this ring are called Vonner people. Inside the ring, the Osir people. Outside the ring, the Vonner people. And I'll explain in the story who these two people are, the Osir and the Von people, Os and Von. This alphabet starts with at 12 o'clock with the sound E. And E is a pole with a dot, like Hawaii. In English, we call it I, but E is at 12 o'clock, and this is the beginning of this alphabet. There's 23 sounds inside the ring, and there's six more sounds outside the ring, which I'll explain in a minute. This first sound is the sound E, and E means in, or inside. So we start inside the ring. We come inside the ring, and now E is E, it's the pole, a masculine symbol and the dot above the E is the North Star so if you came straight up from this you would come to the North Star because the North Star is right above this hole in the middle of this ring of land in Finland the first sound is E the next sound is the sound ah ah is a clear sound ah and ah mean the Asa people because in this story each sound has a mark, and each mark has meaning to it. Our whole writing system is all poles and half circles. Three poles, one pole, two half circles, half circle, half circle pole, three poles. So as you go around, you'll see that the whole alphabet is made by ring, half circles, and poles. We start inside, we go inside, E, Ah, or is the Osir people. And the Osir people are the people who lived inside the Ringland. This family, this Bach family, they were the head of the Osir people. There are no more left, they're all finished today. This whole family is... The, the next sound is the sound Bay. The sound B, B, and A, Bay. And bay means bori in root language. It means bjorn, which means bear, or brust, which is breast. In English, castle, bear, breast. The sound bay. We come to the next sound is the sound say in root language. S and a, say. In English, we call it c. And say is one share ra, or one part of... It's one share, like the moon has one new moon, and this is the sound say, and say means one share ra. Also, you can cut, you can divide, say. We come to the next sound, is the sound d and a, day. Have a nice day today. In English, we call it d. In root language, day. Ah, be, say, day. And day means dog in root language, and dog means day in English. So the sound day or d means day. We, and also you, the day divides from the dark, so the day. The next sound is the sound a, a. And a is e in English, a. And a means ek, and ek means oak tree in English.
because we're all belonging to one family tree called the oak tree. E, A, B, C, D, A. A is a clean sound, a clear sound. A, it's one sound. The next sound is the sound F. And F is A and F, F. And F means through. We have actually two dots here we're missing. And through means seed in root language. It also means Frey and Freya. Frey is the first masculine on the planet. And his sister Freya is the first feminine on the planet. Frey is where Friday comes from. Frey's dog in root language. And Frey is the All Father. He is the first father on this planet. He is the God Frey. Frey and Freya. First masculine, first feminine. The sound gay. Gay is the sound g and a, gay. And gay means the groomed. In root language, in English we call it ground. Everything comes from the groomed. The sound gay means to give. The ground, our mother, she only gay, gay, gives to us. She doesn't take from us. So the gown sound gay or g in English means the ground. The sound H in English, we say in root language, ho, like ho, ho, ho. Ho means home in English. In root language, it means hell, H-E-L. It means yarta, which means the heart. Him means home. Helig means holy. So this ho, it's this ring land here at the top of the planet. This is the home according to us. H or ho, which is an O. The next sound is the sound E, the same sound we have at, one, at 12 o'clock. And E is masculine. It's said two times in this alphabet. And E is a masculine symbol. Every man has one E. And the top of the E is one dot. And this dot is the future. I'll explain later in the story. The sound E. In English, we would say I, but it's actually E. The next sound is the sound ye, like yellow, ye. And ye, we call J in English, is the sound ye, and ye means yarl. And yarl is one class of people. In English, we would call him earl. The earls, in root language, he's called yarl or yarlet. The next sound is the sound what in English we would say K, we would say K. In root language they call it ko. Ko, which is k and o, ko. And ko means Carl or the middle class of people. K, ko, Carl. Upper class, middle class. The next sound is the sound L. And L is the sound A, L, L. And L means log, or law, or logic. So this story is based in one logic and one log. The sound L is L in English and in root language. The next sound is the sound M. M is the sound M in root, also in English, M. And M means money, or moon in English. So when we see the sound M, it has something to do with the moon. The next sound is the sound N. And N, for us, is the knowledge. We spell knowledge, knowledge, K-N, but it's actually na 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 knowledge So N means knowledge, and knowledge is Nord Sher Nan. In English, the North Star. And the North Star is the star that's straight above the pole of the planet. It's the top of the E. This point up here is called the North Star, the Polaris. And it means knowledge, which I'll explain later. The sound N. E, A, B, C, D, A, F, G, Ho, E, Y, K, L, M, N. The next sound, the 16th sound, is the sound And OO is a ring. OO, when you farm your mouth, is one ring. And oo is a ring, and Uden, it means Uden. 
In Udin, I will explain in the saga, I'll explain what Udin is. Udin is the sun, Udin is everything, but Udin is a ring. And the sound, ooh, ooh, in English we say, oh. The next sound is the sound, pay, which is p and a, and pay means pole. In English we say p, here they say pay, and pay means a pole. And in root language, pole is pole. In English, pole is pole. One pole. The next sound is the sound coo. Coo. And coo in English we say q. But in root language, the sound is ko and oo. Coo. And coo is quadrat. Coo is mathematics. And coo is a ring with a pole coming from the middle. And when the sun casts the shadow, it makes this form of a coup, a ring with a dot in the middle with this line coming out. So, coup is mathematics, quadrat. The next sound is the sound er, 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 almost like the sound have a breath of air, but there's no e, a or no, but air. It's like the word, maybe the word fair. It's a very fair, fair situation. And air in English is called R, but in root language, air. And air is the king. He's Ra. Ra is the king. He's the Os king. I'll explain. We're always Os king, this Os king, this Os or this king from the Os people. Ra is the light side of the moon. When we look to the moon, there's a dark side and there's a light side. And the light side of the moon is called Ra because the king, he represents the moon on this planet. The next sound is the sound S. And S is the sound A and S. A, S, S. And S means Sulin. And Sulin in root language means sun. Sulein, Sulin. And in English we call it sun. So the sound R or Er is the moon. S is the sun, Sulin. The next sound is the sound T. The sound T is the sound T, T and A. T in English we call it T, but T is a it has the meaning of tour. Tour is a very very big story which I will go a little bit into the saga. It's a very very big sore tour, and tour is your heart friend. Tour is your best friend. And tour is where the word Thursday comes from, tours day. Tour backwards is root, te u er, er u te, and root means the beginning. This is the root language, the tour language. And tour is your, your best friend, your tour friend. The next sound is the sound oo, oo, and oo is you in English, you. But in root language, it's the sound oo, and it means oosprung. And oosprung in this root language means the origin, where the life sprung up from, the, oror, the origin. The sound oo, the origin in English. And it's one clean sound, clear sound called oo. The next sound is the sound ve. In English, we would call it v. But the sound ve, v, v, and a, ve, and ve means the Vonner people. And the Vonner people, I'll explain in this ring, the Vonner people are the people outside this ring at the top of the planet with the pole in the center. So in this story, I will give it in root language first. This story, this ring of sounds gives one story. And the root language, it goes like this, which root language is much, much like Swedish is today. So if you understand Swedish, you would all for sure understand this. E is inside. Inside, Asner's body. Say, Dagens Ekens Fru, Grund Hell. In Jarlnes Karlnes Log. Moni nor Sheridan Udin Poland Quadrat Ra Sul Tur Ursprung 
Bonner E. and Asener's Bori. And English, I will give it in the English now. Inside the Asener's castle, you see the day of the oak tree's seeds in the ground of hell. Inside the Jarl and the Carl class of people, the logic of the moon, the north star, the ring, and the pole make coup quadrat. Ra the moon and Sewell the sun are tour friends. They're best friends because the moon gets its light from the sun, so the best friend of the moon is the sun. Ra the moon, Sewell the sun are tour friends, heart friends, and the origin of the Vonner people inside the Asuner's castle. So it's talking in one story as I tell the saga, I will explain about these Asra people at the top of the planet, how they moved out to be Vonner people and covered this whole planet in people. And they're coming out from one castle, which I have pictures of the castle. All this is one ring of sounds which will explain. There's much more detail you could put in this, but I want to make it very simple today. Outside the ring, there are six more sounds. The sound X, which is the sound A, Ko, S, X, three sounds, like Alex, X, X is a symbol for the tour. Also, X means the oak tree, so S means it belongs to, so this tour is part of one oak tree system, X. And X, when you say you're like this with somebody, that means you're their best friend. They are your closest friend, your tour friend. The next sound is the sound ye. And this word that it comes with it is called yugdrasil. Yugdrasil. In English, we call it why. Why do you make it to be why? But anyway, in the sound, it's the sound ye. It's a clear sound ye. And Yggdrasil is the world tree of all living things. It was one ash tree about 80 kilometers, 60 kilometers to the west of Helsinki, Finland. Uh, anyway, it's one ash tree. It's a woman's tree. It belongs to the highest woman, to the All Mother, which I'll explain who this All Mother was in this story. The sound Seta. In English, we call it Z. But Seta is a flash. It's like a lightning bolt. Two people have one Seta, one flash, one nice feeling with each other. It's a very big story, but we'll just leave it like that. It's a flash between two people. The next sound is the sound O. O is a mark with a ring at the top, and O means rivers. If you go to the root language, if you say the sound O, they say, yes, it's one O, it's one river. The sound A, which is a pole with actually should have two little dots. A is another clear sound. O is a clear sound. A is a clear sound. And A has to do with agriculture. It's maybe a little bit more female symbol. And like cat. Cat. At. In English. The last sound is the sound er. And er has a ring with two dots. And Ur means island. So if you ask someone in Sweden or somebody in South Finland, where is one Ur? They'll say that this is called one Ur, one island. This island here, where this hole is, called Uden's Ur, the island of Uden. So these sounds, they have sounds, they have marks, they have meanings. And here they also, these last six sounds. And this alphabet goes like this. E, A, B, C, D, A, F, G, Ho, E, Y, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, X, U, C, T, O, A, U, and U. This last sound actually has two sounds. So I can say like that, this box saga, this story that I will tell, is based on this ring of sounds and these six sounds outside the ring. 
but also it's based on eight powers. Before we had religion on the planet, the people, we lived according to mythology, to mythology. Myth is a story, and logi means logic, so it's a story with logic. And these eight powers, they go like this. The first one is hell, H-E-L. And hell is the North Pole. Hell is where this story comes from. Hell is one very beautiful place on the planet, which I'll explain. The next sound is the sound Bach. And Bach is the family that this story comes from. Bach, this is called the Bach Saga. It's one story that was passed down in one family called the Bach family. So the Bach. E is the E is the masculine symbol for the Bach. E is a pole with a dot above it. Every man has one E. And E is a very, very big sound in this story. Hell, Bach, E. The fourth sound is the sound Uden. Uden. And Uden for us is a ring. Uden is everything. And Uden is the sound the ring over here at 16. Hell, Bach, E, Uden, and Uden is the sun. I'll explain this in the saga. It's the fourth power. The fifth power is called Ra, and Ra, Ra is a very, very big story. Ra, Ra will say, is the king. Ra is the moon, the light part of the moon, and Ra is part of an old money system of a, uh, anyway, Ra. Tour is the sixth power, the sex power. And Tour is your heart friend or your best friend. Tour, where the word Thursday comes from, Tour's dog. They call him Tour today, or Tour's hammer. Woman has Tour and man has Tour. We both have Tour. The seventh power is called Frey, and Frey is the masculine. Frey is where Friday comes from, Frey's dog. We have one English language called God Frey, the God Frey, the Good Friday, the Good Frey, the God Frey. And the eighth power is called Freya. It's the infinity, it's the last, it's the eighth power. And Freya is the feminine. She is the future and Freya. Eight powers, Hel, Bach, E, Uden, Ra, Tur, Frey, Freya. And this whole saga is based, as you hear me tell the story, I will explain what all these sounds, what they mean. So the saga is based on the sound system and these eight powers. And today I just wanted to explain a little bit about this center ring at the top of the planet. If you go to this island in front of Helsinki, there is one hole in the very top, in the granite. You cannot see this hole today. It would be very easy to show if we could get the museum there in the, in the Finland to uh, let us expose this. But so far, the museum and the authorities there in the Finland have nothing to do with this. They won't, they won't listen to any of this. And I guess that's pretty much what we base this saga on. To the best that I can say and understanding, there are other people who have this understanding who can maybe even tell it better than me for sure. And Eeyore Bach, uh, he was the master. If you go on the internet, there's, you can hear him tell with his golden voice, his velvet voice. He tells it better than anyone. I can only pretend to be. But 1985, I learned these sounds. 1987. I received the sounds where I had them in my head. And now, it's almost like Swedish language. They sound a little, they changed a few. They make ah to be all. They make bay to be bea. They may say to be saya. They make day to be dea. So they've changed a few of the sounds, but the a, f, g, ho, e, ye, they keep pretty much the same in the Swedish. The Swedish and the root are very, very close. And I think we just wait to continue when you hear the saga. The saga that I will tell, for every few minutes of time that we talk in the saga, there are hours and hours and hours of explanation why we say it like this. 
but I can only give a small version of the sound system and what these meanings. And in the saga, I can only put a 20-year story into three or four hours. So it's a very, very big story. If anyone should get some interest, they can come. And there's a few people who can actually explain the story and these sounds to them. And I think that's enough for the explanation for this. Udenma. It was a ring land at the top of the planet with the sun going around and around and around, which I'll explain in the story. That's it. <laughs>